What's up everyone? We are here on Fade Cloud Dungeons. In the last video, I did end it off by using the AFK monster. And now, I'm sitting at Rebirth level 4, and we have a lot of souls and, and, and a lot of stuff going on here. I'll get into all that stuff in just a minute, but if any of you have never played on Fade Cloud Dungeons, or you want to try it out for the new season, Definitely come check it out because the IP is right on the screen, zap.fakelo.com. But this is the only server that's like this out here in Minecraft. And it is one of the best quality networks. They have prisons, gens, tycoon, and just a bunch of other stuff coming soon. In the last video, I said I was going to be using the AFK monster. And pretty much how this happened is when I got to a high enough power... I was slash rebirthing. The next rebirth is going to take a very long time to get to, but we are currently at rebirth level 4. Honestly, I should be like two zones ahead, but I haven't been killing any normal mobs. I'm just sitting here killing the AFK. So yeah, but we have a crazy multiplier, and if I kill one of these ocelots, I okay, I can already one tap it. If I go over to the donkeys, I can four tap them, and what I'm trying to get is a better tier sword and then rack up a little bit more money, because then I'll be able to buy some of these new pets and just rank up to the next zone pretty quickly but while we're killing these mobs we gotta pick the last video's giveaway winner of 1000 clouds their name is up there on the screen and if you don't know i do these 1000 clouds giveaways every video and what they are equivalent to is about 10 real life dollars and you can use them on their slash buy which is their in-game store and you can buy things like ranks loot boxes miscellaneous stuff like the battle pass and all that and then you can also buy their slash cosmetics which are some pretty cool stuff sometimes i got all of them but a lot of these are really sick and you can also buy slash bundles while they come out i don't have any but if there are any bundles you can buy those too so yeah if you want to enter just leave a like in the video and then comment your in-game name and that's pretty much that but while we are almost done killing this husk i want to buy some pets so let's uh head right over to the eggs but we'll buy i guess like six of these or just as many as we can i got myself an epic fox i still have my legendary raven but we got a couple mouse pets and then a goat pet i did also get this unique frozen sword and uh that is 500 power compared to 100 power so we are equipping that now if we type slash zones we are where is it we are we need 10 billion money to get this all right that really shouldn't be too bad because i also have 1.35 billion freaking souls in the last video i only got soul greed right now i could buy 7,000 levels of it but i think some of the smarter things to do is just to buy 10,000 levels of critical for only 349 million souls this will have a five percent chance to deal double damage then there's the blazed enchant which has 10,000 levels I can only buy 2,000 levels of this, uh, and then speed, I need gems for that, so I might as well buy some gem greed. I'll get a few thousand levels of that, yeah, I'll just do like 5,000, and then I'll put the rest into soul greed, 4.3k levels. I probably should have got some blaze, but I don't really care too much about that, honestly. Killing this villager has been taking quite a while, though, but after we do kill it, we will be getting an absolute crap load of money, and I might buy some more pets. 784 million, okay, yeah. Yeah, we are uh, buying nine of those. Hopefully, I actually got something good. It looks like we got a couple more fox and then a scorpion pet. I actually do want to keep getting my gems up, though, because the, we do have a couple enchantments we can buy with them, but mainly these pet upgrades. We can actually have our pet attack for myself. I bought a couple levels of this, and I now have a 2% chance, or sorry, 0.2% chance for my pets to attack. And wait, I got a legendary magma sword, 800 power? That is absolutely insane. I only need to kill about seven more of these villagers and then I'll be able to unlock the next zone. Also, it turns out from being AFK, I guess, I don't even know when this happened, but I have eight pearl, eight elite, and eight master keys. So I'm gonna open all of these up. That actually gave me four cube boxes and they're unique, which is really good. A legendary cube box, which is even better. And then a couple of the uncommon. I also got myself a gens booster and seven of these common dragon eggs. If you are familiar with the dragons, you can basically basically equip these like a secondary perk and we got a couple of these really good ones actually an epic gems dragon a souls dragon we got this crystal dragon
dragon, a money dragon, which is always good, and then these ones we can't actually equip anymore because you can't have any duplicates, but I will equip all of those. And now if we touch the dragons, uh, they will level up over time because they are only level one, so eventually they will get to a really good boost. But yeah, these will definitely help us out. And then with all of these different cubes, let me start killing another villager. These uncommons are typically not really good. Yeah, these all absolutely suck, but then these unique and legendary, hopefully these can be good. Legendary critical cube boost 61% apply chance with a 30% booster that's okay this one is absolutely horrible 5% booster this one is a 31% booster soul greed that's pretty decent and then all these other ones kind of suck I mean this other critical one is okay but I think the smartest thing to do is to equip the soul greed cube like that and I'll be getting 30% more souls from soul greed so that is amazing oh wait I can actually equip another cube it looks like I do unlock these every few rebirths uh, so I can actually put another one on so I guess I'll do the critical cube if that applies it did I don't really know what this will actually increase my critical chance to but it would be cool to see it go off a lot more from this entire time though as you can see I'm only 3% of the way to rebirth 5 that is actually kind of crazy to think about we have made very little progress and that's because I should be in the next zone at this rebirth oh wait dude we have five of these magma swords which means I can combine these together to the divine status and now this has 1.6k power i am going to kill this unique villager though and right after this we will have enough money to rank up to the next zone also i have over a million gems already i just don't know what the best upgrade to get is all these other ones are really expensive like increasing the level cap of the pets experience upgrade can increase the chance of gaining experience but then there's also the attack upgrade this one is the cheapest but it's also a super low chance well actually a 2.63 percent chance now that is a lot higher than i thought I wonder what it'll be when we fully max it out because our pets could be dealing some pretty crazy damage But we're about to be done killing that villager and I can now slash zones and unlock the aquatic world These pets go for 26 billion by the way So the tier 1 mobs here I believe are these squids maybe Also I just realized I'm an idiot so we actually have to be killing the drowns over here These are the starter mobs that makes sense on why it was taking so long to kill yeah and then i already got myself a common bone sword which is 3750 power that that's so much better than my current one i actually feel like a little bit of an airhead i, I don't know why i didn't see the billion oh wow okay so i just got a rare crystal sword that has 12,000 power that is actually really crazy i didn't think it would be that high that quick but yeah now that i am starting to build up my power with these really higher tier swords if i kill this squid now it'll go by much quicker by the way how this sword system System does work uh, I'll just claim my gifts real quick but how the sword system does fully work is the higher tier mobs you kill the higher chance you have of getting the better rare wait we have a lava sword that has 20 what the heck am I doing the lava sword had 24,000 power but the higher tier mobs you kill the more chance of getting a better sword is so that's just something that's cool like right there I just got another rare crystal I got myself another one of these lava swords but what I'm actually planning on doing is rebirth thing I think right after we kill this mob I should be able to rebirth and that will get me to a uh, way higher multiplier by the way the reason i'm not using this gems booster is because i want to save it when i have gem greed maxed out otherwise i feel like it's kind of a waste but oh we need literally like one more mob just a couple more seconds and there we go i can now rebirth but before that because my money does reset i am going to buy three of these new pets we actually got some really good tier pets 81x multi 50x and then a 20x and now when we slash rebirth like that new 108x multiplier okay so we should be getting back to where we were extremely fast wait a minute i just got a unique hatred sword from a common mob what what in the world even is that like like that is so lucky i'm really looking forward to getting more of these pets though because once we get just two more our multipliers will be absolutely crazy if we take a look here look at our current power multiplier it's 1.5 billion wait a minute a legendary sinister sword 75,000 power i'm gonna buy a couple more pets now three more we got another epic crab and then a couple more of the dolphins so now i got myself well, let me see the multiplier two billion i just got another legendary sword again if we get three more i can combine them together i just killed one of those mobs and it gave me over 170 million money i can buy so many pets now i'm sitting at 
51,000 gems again. I will buy a couple more levels of the attack upgrade, and I might as well buy as many as I can of the experience gain. Now, I'm actually 70% of the way to getting to rebirth level 6. And there we go. I can rebirth. Oh, actually, let me buy pets before I rebirth. Well, I can buy so many pets. Oh my god. I unfortunately didn't get any, like, really good legendaries, but I did get a lot of the puffer fish and crab pets. It is now time to slash rebirth, though, and boom what a great way to end off the video i'm wrapping everything up here i'm going to hit the afk monster again this way i can get an absolute crap of souls for the next video but yeah thank you all for watching make sure you do come check out the server and we'll be having a lot more videos on here soon i'll see you all later